I'm just trying to make it all make sense. Me. More. You. No. Podcast. Today I want to discuss assessing your level of depression, as well as getting through depression by transitioning into a feeling of hope, shared in Judith Orloff's book Emotional Freedom. Like the blessings discussed in the last episode of the podcast, it's not uncommon to face depression in your life at some point, and because of this you must be aware of when it arises, so you can get through it. And you get through depression by instilling hope within yourself. There is absolutely always hope to recover from a depression, no matter how bad it is. With this being said, you can't let depression take up residence in your psyche, and you need to be aware of its current role in your life, as you go throughout life. So I'm going to go through a quiz to assess your level of depression in life, explain how the energy of depression and hope feels, and then go through some emotional action steps to get through your depression, as well as attract hope and release depression. And I'm now going to go through the quiz. The quiz is a series of 10 questions to ask yourself, and answer with either a yes or a no. So question number one is, do I feel down in the dumps more days than not? Question number two is, am I usually negative, tired, or bored? Then question number three is, everything in effort as if I'm going uphill? After that, question number four is, do I have a poor appetite or overeat? Question number five is then, do I have insomnia or want to sleep a lot? Then the next question is, do I regularly turn to drugs and alcohol to alter my mood? The seventh question is, am I dependent on caffeine or excessive sugar to function? From there, question number eight is, is it hard to experience pleasure? After that, question number nine is, is it difficult to make decisions or concentrate? And lastly, question number 10 to ask yourself is, do I feel worthless, hopeless, or frequently beat myself up? To score this, if you answered yes to all 10 questions, it suggests a high level of depression in your life. 6 to 9 yeses indicates a moderate amount of depression. 3 to 5 yeses indicates a lesser amount of depression. 1 or 2 yeses suggests a mild depression. And no yeses means you're doing fine and should enjoy your day. And now that we've gone through the quiz to assess if you're going through a depression, I now want to describe what a depression feels like along with what hope feels like, in order for you to have a better awareness of both. So the energy of depression can feel flat, apathetic, and disconnected from people and yourself. It feels as if you're moving through molasses. It feels like a sinking pit in your stomach. You feel tight, taking shallow breaths, sighing frequently to inhale more oxygen. And lastly, you feel heavy, making you cower and slump. Now the energy of hope, on the other hand, feels like a quickening and perking up. It's as if a veil is parted, and you can hear, see, taste, and smell better. It's like you're opening up your arms to the world. The feeling is comforting and melancholy dissipates. And lastly, the energy of hope feels like you're physically lighter. You sit more upright and you breathe easier. And with understanding the energy of both depression and hope, I want to go through some emotional action steps to get through depression, as well as to transition into the energy of hope. So the first emotional action steps I want to go through will change your biology, and by doing so will release the depression in your life, and will help get rid of depression. The first thing you should do is exercise and not ruminate. Rather than staying home with a head full of negative thoughts, you should get your body moving. Number two is to then get sufficient sunlight. We aren't meant to be sitting sedentary indoors, and you must go outside to get the proper amount of vitamin D. And finally, third is understanding that laughter is good medicine, and focus on laughing throughout your day. Laughter is true emotional freedom. I now want to go through some emotional action steps to attract hope and release depression. They'll ultimately help you detach from depression. First, you should ask yourself, is the feeling mine or someone else's? And it could absolutely be both. If the depression is yours, gently confront what's causing it on your own or with professional help. Then, when possible, distance yourself from the suspected source, whether it be a person, substance, activity, or something else. By doing so, you'll feel relief. Next, for a few minutes, focus on centering yourself by concentrating on your breath. This will connect you to your essence. After that, shift your energy. Focus on releasing tension from your solar plexus. And lastly, look for hopeful people and situations. Hope is something that's contagious and will lift your mood. The last emotional action steps I want to go through is taking an inventory of life experiences to lift depression. These are five different sources of depression that have a pattern that goes along with them, as well as a new hopeful behavior you can instill. The first is hypercritical parents. What comes with hypercritical parents is an emphasis of the negative in yourself, and the new hopeful behavior you should have is affirming your positive attributes. Number two is a rageaholic mate, friend, or partner. What happens with this is you withdraw emotionally, and instead you should focus on setting healthy limits. Number three is financial stress. What happens with this is you catastrophize about the future, and instead you should focus on making positive changes in the now. Number four is a romantic betrayal. After a romantic betrayal, you avoid intimate relationships, and instead you should take baby steps towards trusting people. And lastly, number five is verbal or physical abuse. It makes you afraid to express your needs, and you should practice speaking up with safe, supportive people. 
Depression is something that anybody can go through, and you must be aware of what depression is, as well as how to make a transition into hope. Remember that hope helps people get enlightened, and that depression can derail you on your path of pursuing a life of significance. And with this being said, you must be able to get through depression, and use hope to empower you. I'm just trying to make it all make sense. Me. More. You. No. Podcast.